Hi there, so today I am going to discuss uh, how I resolved this problem unable to find bundled Java version when I upgraded to Android Studio Electric Eel. Um, now I will say I'm not going to delve into the reasons why this problem is, nor am I going to resolve the issue for, um, I guess you would say, um, the uh, Windows users. So uh, yeah, I don't own a Windows machine and I wouldn't really know a whole lot about how to resolve this particular issue for Windows. So this is for people who have a Mac, um, I guess M1 chip, and um, yeah, how to resolve the Android Studio issue when you run Flutter Doctor V. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a, a few commands. Um, so I'm going to cd into the applications directory um, for Android Studio, right? So I'm going to type in this here, and I'm going to put all the commands, by the way, in the description. So CD Android Studio Applications Contents, and then I'm going to go into the JBR folder because for some reason it's now called JBR, um, not JRE. So then I'm going to go, uh, then I'm going to run ln-s JBR JDK, and then, yes, okay, cool. And then I'm going to run this one here, ln-s uh, library thing here. It says it already exists, so that's just because I've already done this work already, and um, yeah. So like, if you do, if you type in that command, it will run fine. But anyway, so the next thing I'm gonna do, and this is by the way gonna create a bit of redundancy, but this works fine for me. Um, I'm gonna go into and uh, applications Android Studio, and then I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go show package contents, contents, and you'll see that I have a JBR folder here, right? Um, JBR, JDK, I don't think I needed to recreate that one, but uh, yeah, okay, so I have JBR folder here, um, I'm going to remove this JBR here, because this I think I just created another redundancy, move to trash, so make sure, contents, JBR, JB, JDK, right, so this these are these contents should look like this, right, and then you're going to copy this, and then you're going to go over to the contents folder again, and then you're going to right click and go new folder and then just call it JRE. And then you're going to paste the contents that you just copied from the JBR folder. Now this is kind of creating a, um, I guess you would say a redundancy, but I'm sure you could change this in Android Studio to point to the JRE or even just to point to the JBR folder. And this is the contents that you should have in there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do Flutter Doctor V again. Dash v and it should work fine now like everything should appear here yeah Android Studio Java yeah it looks like it's it's all here um, yeah that's the Java version bundle Java version there um, and then when I run Android Studio I'm gonna try and open it up now it should run fine Yeah, it should open up here to one of my projects. So yeah, that's that's how I resolved it. Um, I'm able to run a project and stuff, but I'm just not. I'm not gonna delve into that right now because I usually just use my iOS simulator, so I don't really use Android a whole lot. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I resolved the issue. The commands are in the description below. And uh, yeah, again, I think I created some redundancy, and I'm pretty sure you could you could change the pointing of the direction in Android Studio to uh, the JBR file that you created, and that would work fine. Um, but this works in the meantime, and this works for now. And I have tried it when when I've run a project, and it's it worked okay. So like yeah, um, just thought I'd show you guys how to do that. Thank you. Have a good day.